Andrew, Seth is an interesting beast that uh, a lot of enterprises are failing to tame. And they need to tame it today in a Kubernetes context because it is the most popular scale-out storage uh, route that, that you can go. And you guys are basically offering an already tamed Ceph in a box, right? That I can just plug into my infrastructure and, and go and run my persistent applications. Yeah, exactly right. You know, Ceph is an incredibly powerful software-defined storage uh, platform or architecture. But by building a task-specific appliance, we can take away a bunch of the complexity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what you're doing is uh, you are basically building that architecture, that hardware architecture around uh, the specific requirements of Ceph in terms of performance, in terms of scale out so that it has really low latency, it has really low power consumption. And uh, uh, yeah, it's really, it's really easy to manage. Yeah, we're delivering incredible performance, you know, in tests, some of our customer tests, double the performance of uh, twin Xeon uh, uh, appliances running side by side against a single ARM processor, mm. um, drawing 80% less power. So you're getting twice the performance at 80% less power mm -hmm. and all the benefits of being able to de deploy this and manage it in a way which is as simple as if it was uh, completely integrated proprietary hardware without all of that lock-in. So it's the best of every world as far as we can tell. And if I'm an enterprise and I have already my SAN infrastructure in place, uh, this can just live with it, right? It can just uh, be there and be an additional device managed by my storage administrators, but really used by my cloud native guys and app ops guys. Yeah. You know, uh, when we look at the customers that are, that are coming to us right now, they're either already deploying Ceph and have hit a complexity barrier because they just don't have enough engineers to, that are command line warriors to, to try and manage Ceph themselves. So they're looking for a way to simplify it. Or they're just um, enterprises that just want really good storage fundamentally. Yes. And they love the idea of, of Ceph and its ability you know, to do um, file block and object all in one platform, its ability to scale linearly you know, all of those things, but they just want the simplicity that you would ordinarily only see in a proprietary appliance. Mm -hmm. So that's the beauty of it. You know, right. we can leave Ceph untouched, um, but yet go to, get all of those benefits. Yeah. And as you said, while it's Ceph in a box and Ceph turnkey, you can always get Ceph back out of that box and run it somewhere right. else. You just won't have the advantages anymore, but you know, you'll have to deal with that yourself then. So. Yeah, exactly. You know, I think we see a lot of customers now that want to separate their hardware decision from their software decision. And, and so how do you do that without introducing a whole bunch of complexity? And this is, is really our, our response, if you like, or our, our, our solution to that. You can still move away. You can still keep Ceph because it's 100% Ceph running on Hyperdrive and continue with that as your architecture. And if for some reason you want to integrate you know, other hardware or for some reason, you don't like soft iron anymore. Heaven forbid. Um, you know, you can move away from from using soft iron. That's and that keeps us honest, I guess, and keeps us on our toes. And that's that's fine. You know, that is what customers need, and so that's how we're how we're uh, we're operating. Andrew, thank you very much. <laughs>